Welcome back to DVC Weekly. This is episode 74. My name is Jason Erpelding. I'm the broker of buy and sell DVC. I'm here with Scott Ferrioli. I'm the owner of DVC-Rental.com and buy and sell DVC.com. And I just want to say a happy birthday to my mother-in-law out there. I believe she turns 39 today. Oh, so, me too. <laughs> so uh, happy birthday to her. And so your 11 month window from today is going to be June 6, 2023. And your seven month window is going to be February 6, 2023. As always, dvc-rental.com. If you're looking to rent some DVC points, rent some confirmed reservations, or if you need to rent out your DVC points, if you're looking to sell your property so you no longer own it, or you're looking to buy in, buy and sell dvc.com. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, of course, let us know. And we're going to start on the buy and sell side today. And the question is, what does $30,000 get you with DVC? Well, I can tell you right now, $30,000 will get you probably about a 1982 Corolla. <laughs> so you're probably better off going with DVC at the moment. That is true. So roughly, now again, there's been some ride at first refusal lately. But uh, we're going to say that it's going to get you 200 points at Saratoga Springs at around $138 a point. You have your purchase price, you have your closing costs, and the seller's expecting you to pay annual dues on the 200 points you're getting from 2022. You'd be at $29,846. You'd own 200 points at Saratoga Springs. Um, that would give you a home resort priority at Saratoga, 7 to 11 months, under 7 months you know, you could stay at any one of the resorts. So some people say, what does that get you? Well, it's, you know, depending on when you travel, that could give you up to two weeks in a studio per year. And of course, um, and then if you're staying in a one bedroom, it's probably going to give you a week in a one bedroom. Yeah, that's probably right. And it's, it may give you four or five nights in a two bedroom again. Now, you know, I do want to mention if you, if you're new to DVC, Sunday through Thursday is going to be a less points than Friday and Saturday night. So if you look at a point chart for a certain resort, and remember on our website, we have the point charts for all the resorts. Plus more importantly, we have a DVC point calculator. Now, I am not a computer guy, but to me, it is the, the DVC point calculator is the greatest thing ever invented because you can just plug in your check-in date, your check-out date, and it's gonna tell you the number of points for every single DVC resort and every single accommodation. Yep, absolutely. So if you say, hey, should we bump up to a one bedroom this time versus a studio? You can see right there, well, it's gonna cost you basically almost double your points. Do you wanna do that or do you not wanna do that? So, uh, so I would use the point calculator uh, to figure out your different stays, and I don't remember where I was going with this when I got to the <laughs> point calculator. But the 200 points is gonna give you plenty of options uh, for your vacations, and of course, we like if you want to go to Hilton Head for five nights in January in a studio, it's still only going to be the thirty points for those five nights. You get seven of those, so you get seven of those rooms, and you, you bring all your friends and all your relatives, and you have a great big party at Hilton Head in the winter. And then another thing I just want to mention is you can bank your points. Banking your points just moves them from one new share, like if you own a June new share, from one June new share to the next June new share. So you could have four hundred points. So instead of one week in a one bedroom, now that year you could spend two weeks in a one bedroom because we do have, you know, we do sponsor the Dib and we have uh, people from the UK coming over here. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to come, you know, every other year for two weeks, you can bank those 200 points, turn them into 400 points, and you could stay two weeks in a one bedroom, meet Scott at uh, Magic Kingdom and get some uh, cheeseburger egg rolls. Ooh. So, because uh, he has a secret code to get to the front of the line Let's so you know because you get a lot i mean so you're in and just i mean i can't guarantee that when you buy in and you go to sell it it's gonna you know sell for the same amount or more but so far since i've been involved with dvc the prices have continued to gone up continued to go up the amount it costs to rent a room at disney continues to go up and as always as a DVC member, you get the free parking, which saves you $25 a night. Plus, if you just want to rent points, you get free parking. Yep. So, so the moral of the story this week is 
$30,000 is going to get you 200 points at Saratoga Springs, roughly. It's going to give you up to two weeks in the studio, one week in a one bedroom. It's, just, it's going to give you plenty of options. So don't, I mean, some people think, well, I have to spend 95 to 110 to get into DBC. I mean, no, you have plenty of options uh, at the $30,000 uh, range with your vacations. I'm pretty confident in guaranteeing that that would be a much better investment than the 81 Corolla. Definitely. Definitely. But there might be some 81 Corollas out there still going, so. There, there could be, but you don't want to pay $30,000. Right, right, right. Definitely not. Definitely, please don't do that. Saratoga's good to 2054 and lock in those great trips with your family. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's still a lot of time to vacation. A lot of memories. Because vacation's really, it's, it's all about making memories. It, you know, you got so many, I mean, if you look at old pictures, you remember, you know, all these different memories. That's at least, that's, that's what I do. I, you know, I was looking at pictures of old Disney trips with the kids the other day, and it was just, it brought me back. It's, yeah, the, me the memories are priceless. And, and then my kids are so funny because every time we go someplace else, they're like, oh, this is my favorite. And the next place they go, this is my favorite. It's like, and I'm just, you know, I, I love it because, you know, it just constantly changes. So if you, that's what kids do, but you know what? That shows you how much they're enjoying that trip. You know, you, you know they love their boardwalk trip, but then you take them to Saratoga Springs and they go, this is my favorite. So you're like, I know they love the Saratoga. And, the kids adjust and they're happy no matter where you take them. So that's, that's great. Right. And now we're on to the food review of the week. Come here, I'm going to eat you. Get in my belly. So when I go to the parks, I, I try to get a bunch of different things sometimes so that I don't have to go constantly and I'm not worried about this. So I am back at Connections Eatery in Epcot where I, again, this is... Two trips, but I, I tried the apple pie gelato shake. It's seven dollars and twenty nine cents. Uh, it's definitely expensive for a shake, but I mean, considering you know, if you're comparing it to like you know, a Burger King, McDonald's, you know, outside property type stuff, it's very expensive. Inside the parks, seven twenty nine, not terrible for a shake. Um, really nice taste to it, um, and really, who doesn't like apple pie? It's got some cinnamon in there, so you, you, your son better avoid the cinnamon. But Really nice and cold on a, a hot Disney summer day. Um, I, I really in, enjoyed this, again, on the expensive side, but I mean, if, you, if the 729 doesn't affect you at all, definitely get this. I would get this again. I give it a strong 7.9, very happy with it. I, I might've gone higher maybe if it wasn't as expensive, but very happy, it, it enjoyed it a lot. Maybe I could use maybe a little more apple flavor, but it was refreshing, it was sweet, it was, very, very good. I was happy with this. Short line? Did you get it pretty quick? Or? You know how I mentioned that I do these things together? I actually had this the day of the liege waffle that was the horrible line. So what was great is that when I walked up, to, when I walked up there and I ordered the liege waffle and this apple pie shake, the lady went right over, zzz, plopped down the apple pie shake, and I was like, all right, now I just need that waffle. And that's when I sat there for 20 minutes waiting on one waffle from, while they missed me and messed things up. But... Again, it, I mentioned- So the shake was quick. The shake was super quick. And I mentioned since then, like I went there again to have that chicken sandwich and it was definitely much more well-oiled machine when I went the second day. So I have faith that they're doing well. And they've got some cool options there. Like I'll, I'll definitely want to check this place out again. And again, they have a, like a, I think an Asian chicken salad that looked really, really good or like, like teriyaki chicken. So they've got some really nice looking items there. So Con Connections Eatery, I definitely, Giving them a thumbs up so far, just iron some stuff out and I, I'll, I'll keep checking out some stuff there. And now we're on to the DVC dash rental portion of the program. This looks like it could be exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking through here because I forget. So a couple weeks ago, I just got back from Copper Creek, um, which is part of Wilderness Lodge. So Disney has, the main area is just called Wilderness Lodge. They've taken, they had originally the villas, they had the DVC, villas and the main building so just within the past couple of years they named the villas section boulder ridge and then just recently they took a couple a couple they took a bunch of rooms inside the main lodge and called that copper creek so we were inside the main lodge copper creek we had a three bedroom grand villa which was absolutely amazing uh definitely one of my favorite rooms i've ever stayed in i i've stayed in and when I end up staying in these rooms, I'm normally there for one night. And I, I've stayed at, in the Grand Villas, I've stayed at you know, Copper, Copper Creek, Old Key West, 
Riviera, Boardwalk, and Grand Floridian. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, Grand, <laughs> Grand Floridian and Riviera are probably like the most upscale and like luxurious. And this is not upscale luxurious. This was more of like lodge feel, wood beams, wood ceiling, carvings. Like it, it was just an absolutely beautiful room. Uh, really enjoyed it. Great food options at um, Wilderness Lodge as well. You know, we, we checked out, um, what's it called, Roaring Fork, which is the quick service restaurant. Um, we had eaten at um, Geyser Point, which is their outside bar previously. We didn't eat this past time. And we ate at Whispering Canyon, which is their, you know, rowdy, fun, not as fun as it used to be pre-COVID, but still, you know, the cast members are yelling and playing back and forth and they, you know, say ketchup and they're yelling ketchup and families are bringing ketchup to each other. So it's come back a decent amount too. You've got great views of the fireworks, fireworks from the pool area, from Geyser Point. You've got, I, I know you're a fan of the, um, like, Old Faithful that goes off every hour um, and electric water pageant that goes by after the fireworks. So I mean, a lot of great reasons to stay here. And it, like my favorite resort is always Boardwalk and Animal Kingdom's right up there. I mean, this trip to Copper Creek just reminded me how much I really enjoy Wilderness Lodge and what great options they have at Wilderness Lodge. And this, again, definitely one of my favorite three bedrooms. Again, not luxurious and as upscale maybe as some of the other ones, but this was just maybe more homey. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who would feel much more comfortable, you know, in these you know, versus maybe like the Grand Villa at um, Grand Floridian. And how many of them are there? There are the six of these possibly. And they're staying alone, right? Yeah. yeah. Staying alone? I mean, they're not attached to anything? Or? Right, right. Yeah, they're, 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 they're staying alone inside. They're normally towards like the end of the hallways. So we had um, a view of the lake. It was a big, big room. View of the lake and a view of the pool. So we, we can see the fireworks, we can see the pool, we can see everything. Um, just absolutely love this. And again, like even the Wilderness Lodge, open air lobby, fireplace, um, rocking chairs. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's such a wonderful resort, Wilderness Lodge. It kind of gets, I think, overlooked sometimes, especially amazing at Christmas, but really, really great relaxing time here. And just, I, I felt more at home, I think, than when I was at Grand Floridian. And while Grand Floridian was beautiful, I just felt very lodgy and mellow and again the woods it just it, it maybe it resonates more with me than like we'll say like a more upscale luxurious type of room like this was really really awesome love this room and there's no like like at uh the three bedroom at jumbo still has a pool table correct yes three, bed, three bedroom at jumbo does like this doesn't have does anything like... no 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 there's there was no special pool table okay. or like grand floridian has like a they call it like a movie room the media center room there wasn't anything like that, but I mean, it was just big, as you know, three bedroom, three bath, um, a bit big TV in the living room, hooked up to the sound bar, and just just mellowed out and relaxed. Again, my my, it was just my wife and I, and then each of our sons. So each son had their own room, and my son ran there, and he saw that he had the room. He grabbed the room that was overlooking the pool area, so the big area overlooking the pool, and we could see the fireworks. It was just really, really nice trip. I I would have loved to have it more than just one night, but just great time. So definitely don't, don't sleep on Wilderness Lodge <coughs> slash Boulder Ridge slash Copper, Copper Creek. Creek. Great time. Sounds awesome. So uh, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And be sure to come back next week for more. And again, if you have any questions on the resale side, buy and sell DVC.com. On the rental side, DVC-rental.com. You haven't mentioned social media in a while. So definitely check us out on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on TikTok. We're on YouTube, we're all over the place. And I'm going to end this before Jason has a coughing fit here. So thank you very much. We love you. Have a great day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.